Board bow build along part one tools. We're going to do our build along with pretty simple stuff ruler, yardstick, framer square, assorted rasps and files, and our 10 inch table saw. Four way rasp. This was purchased at Woodcraft, it's a Nicholson. Um, it's a little better than the cheap ones that you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's a little bit sharper, a little bit bigger. Cabinet scraper. As far as I know, you can only get those at Woodcraft or Rocklers or any woodworking store. Also, you can order them online. It should only cost about $10. Nine inch block plane. About $9 at Home Depot or Lowe's. And our Stanley Sureform Rasp. About $15. Well worth the money though. Now let's move on to our wood selection. We're going to use red oak, even though I prefer to use uh, hickory or maple or ash. But since this is uh, readily available to just about everybody in the store, we're going to start with. Make sure that you select your board correctly. The grain lines should run from one end all the way to the other as straight as possible. Let me show you an example of a near perfect board. This was an ash. Oops. This was an ash board that I built a bow from. But you can see how the grain lines run from one end to the other on nearly completely straight. That's what you want to pick for your board. Go through every one of them if you have to. And don't buy if you don't find what you're looking for. And here is our riser block, nine inches, black walnut. It's about seven inches, uh, seven eighths of an inch thick, two inches wide. It's gonna fit right on top of our red oak board. Now they do sell one and a half inch, or uh, one by two boards at uh, Lowe's, but I don't recommend those because it, it's a little bit too narrow for red oak in my opinion. Go with a three, uh, one by three board as best as you can, the best one you can find and then cut it down to two inches wide by 68 inches long with, of course, your table saw. If you don't have a table saw, do anything you can just to cut it to two inches wide. 